Money Monday, y'all. Let's get it. All right, welcome back. Money Monday, Brendan here, Dad Planet. If you are brand new to the channel, it is good seeing you for the first time. If you guys have been here before, you've been following me along, I always appreciate having you. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so we're gonna go to where I spend most of my time when I'm doing research and I'm trying to train my eye if I can't be in a store, and that are the sold. So this segment features used items, um, over $500, preferably unique. Some will be auction style, some will be buy it now. All of them are gonna make you scratch your head in disbelief for sure. Uh, and this is where I go not only to just do normal research, but to kind of um, motivate me, like when months are slow, like November is going for me. So um, yeah, and let's do a little housekeeping really quickly. If you have a sale like this, a big money, big money sale, over 500 bucks, preferably used item, doesn't matter where you sourced it, shoot me an email, deadplanetofficial at gmail.com. If it makes sense for the segment, I will feature you and your store in the, in the, on the show for sure. So um, anyway, let's get into the bolos, 10 knockout bolos here. And the first one, how many of you, let's see a show of hands, could have used this very mug this morning? <laughs> oh man, it's, I'm recording this at 5 p.m. It feels like the day has gone on for 72 hours. Um, this is a two and a half gallon Starbucks mug. I'm gonna maximize it for you. So this is like the, kind of like the UR here, but it's, these were store promo mugs, huge, uh, that were put on display. And this is Cleveland. It's supposed to be one of the more rarer styles. So <laughs> just look at, look at that thing. I wanna, I wanna like grab my floaties and go swimming in it. Um, Pretty cool looking piece though. And it is definitely a bolo. There's a picture of the stamp. 2002 Starbucks, the Skyline series, barista. I, this is gonna stick out like a sore thumb, no kidding. But I mean, it was just, I've never seen it before. I didn't know these existed. So I thought it would be fun to feature it here. And it got 10 bids, bid up to 600 bucks. I'm gonna show you the next tab. Um, bolo, for sure. Sacramento got 410. New Orleans got 300. Uh, San Francisco with a few of the smaller versions. Uh, $200 right there. It looks like, what are we at? Phoenix for $300. Um, I mean, over $200, $250 bucks for sure if you can you know, find one of these and fit them through your door uh, or fit them in your car. But uh, yeah, keep your, eye, keep your eye out. Not that you really have to keep your eye out for something like that. But anyway, I'm, I get a real kick out of that one. We'll move on to the next one. Um, so this is a 1950s. And the pictures to me, they aren't really that great. Like there's a big contrast here. Do you see the difference here between like, I mean, this one looks like it was taken outside, but this is a much better rendition of the actual color. So anytime you see like Levi's, Big E, and then Sherpa, especially on the collar, look it up because it's a bolo for sure. Anyway, um, Shorthern Western wear on this one. So uh, you can see the, um, it's, like a, it's like a little bit of suede right there and excellent detail on the buttons. There is the tag, I will maximize that for you. Authentic Western wear. This is most certainly a bolo. The um, Items sold for uh, around $600, and I will show you some of the similar uh, co uh, comparables right here. So uh, here's one, a Sherpa vest, suede, 175, 275 for the 70s dead stock. This one is 20 years older than that. And then there is actually another one right here. So here's one from the 60s, Big E Sherpa, that shipped from Australia, $330. Uh, that probably undersold. These are incredibly rare, but you, you're, it's not like you're not going to find them. You know, they'll turn up at some point for uh, for some of us. Hopefully, one of you watching here for sure. So, um, if you weren't keeping your eye out for Levi's, I know a lot of people focus on the 501s and like the um, the very early pants and in and, and denim jeans because those you'll get you big money as well. Um, don't sleep on the. Uh, on the on the coats for sure because there's 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 still a ton of money left in there i mean it's 1950s so always uh keep your eye trained for sherpa especially the collars we'll move on to the next one um pendleton pendleton blankets this is a vintage uh, i believe it's cayuse i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that so if i butchered that i apologize but that is definitely the keyword um that is getting the 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 or the style that's getting the highest dollar amount in terms of pendleton blankets so Here's a picture of the tag. I will maximize that for you right there. Cayuse Indian Blankets, Pendleton Woolen Mills, Oregon, definitely a bolo. Let's take a run through right here. So here's another one uh, that sold for $400, but I'm gonna go back a little bit because even if you find 
the uh, more recent tag right here. Still good money on, on their blankets. 50 bucks here. This is a wool throw blanket for 60. Uh, Beaver State is another keyword that you wanna look for when you're, when you're sourcing Pendleton blankets for sure. Here's one for uh, almost $90. Another one down here, almost 200. Pendleton blankets, popular, getting good money. Keep your eye out for them for sure. We'll move on to the next one. Did, has God canceled dancing uh, because of the coronavirus? I, I don't I don't know like, where where are we at here with like round two of the of shutting everything down. Like I I was under I'm under the uh, assumption that they've told us we're not allowed to have more than what ten people in our house for Thanksgiving now, and and we certainly aren't allowed to scream, yell, sing, or dance. <laughs> Who's write these rules? Um, but a disco ball sold for a thousand. So shout out to you, um, you, you rebels out there who are going to throw the uh, the rave of the century. Um, this is a legitimate disco ball. It came with the motor, sold for a thousand dollars, ninety-two inch circumference. Uh, let's take a look at some of the pictures. What a crazy find! Yeah, you know, Studio Fifty Four style right there. Um, pretty neat. I, if there were comparables like it, I didn't look them up. I mean, this is such an obvious thing that you you, sh you should uh, be paying attention to for sure. But thousand bucks, fun sale, and I just thought that that was funny since uh, God is canceling everything for the rest of the year and uh, beyond. Anyway, next one, Muppets. Five hundred twenty-nine dollars for a Muppets poster. Okay. Uh, let me maximize this for you and then we'll get a picture of the tag. So the Muppet Show theater style, we're going to look at the bottom right hand corner, Scandicor, Southampton, Pennsylvania. This thing, uh, according to the listing description, was never on display. There's no tack holes or anything of that nature, but a very unique item. There are no, let me look at the tab here, yeah, there are no other solds like it. If you just search like vintage 1978 Muppets posters. Some will come up. You'll see the uh, Pig Power Miss Piggy one come up. Uh, there'll, there'll be some of those listed as well, but really nothing like this one here. So a pretty unique find. And you know, it's one of those times where if you sourced this and you didn't have the, the sales data uh, to back it up, how would you know where to price this at? You know, a 39 by 27 poster um, from 1978 Muppets. Like I, I don't know that I would have the knowledge to price it at $529. So kudos to this seller, Kelly Davidson, for uh, for shooting for the stars. I mean, maybe the thing's worth 2,000. Maybe it was really only worth 100. But somebody paid 529 bucks for it. So good for them. We'll move on to the next one. Um, guitar pedals. This is a vintage guitar pedal, Univox, the Super Fuzz. Super, super rare. There's one that I'm going to show you here in a second that um, was broken and still sold for, I think, $275. So this one was bid 49 bids up to $735. They will miss this in thrift stores. They'll get busy, slab $399 on it, and you will you will find it. So, uh, so keep your eye out for it for sure. So anyway, Univox, here's one that was bid up um, to $310. That is a super fuzz. Again, parts only. 80 bucks for this one here, 140. There's another one down here for 275, saying it needs repair. This one in working condition, $735. That's insane. Um, keep your eye out for interesting looking electronics. If you've never, if you're unfamiliar with what a um, what a guitar pedal looks like, they're just they're it's, they're unassuming. So that's why a lot of uh, thrift stores will miss it. So I'm going to show you some of the pictures here just to help you on your venture, and we'll move on to the next one. You guys, a Hamburglar desk lamp, <laughs> $2,700, $2,670. It got seven bids. There was that much interest. This, to me, goes into a museum because there are no comparable sales uh, around it. There's just nothing like it. So Hamburglar desk lamp from 1981 and I they were maybe they were smart to put it on auction because there's you know kind of nothing like this it's not even in like that great of condition but because of its uniqueness its rarity the scarcity of the item it got almost three thousand dollars and uh boy do I wish I uh, had this in my um in my inventory right now you can see the tag McDonald's Corporation that is just awesome let me look at the the description real quick. Yes, they, they mentioned the oxidation on the base. I thought there might be a story behind this uh, item, but there isn't. So, I mean, keep your eye out for Hamburglar desk lamps because, uh, yeah, you'll get uh, $3,000 and you can thank me for pointing them out to you in the video. All right, 
next one. So this is a vintage Los Angeles Dodgers snapback hat. The vintage hat market is scorching hot like most of the other markets that I talk about in these videos. This is a sports specialties hat, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second because the tag on this hat is cut off. So I don't think that they mentioned that that was the brand, but vintage sports specialties hats. Anytime you see the logo, uh, sports specialties, look it up on your phone. So this was bid 28 times. Uh, seller was in Milan, Ohio, and uh, $650 was the winning bid. So if you look at the uh, tag here, it's cut off, but I'm gonna show you on the next one. Take a very good look at this little curve. Let me make that, maximize that. See that curve? It's the start of an S, you'll see it right here. So here's, a, uh, here's one that is marked sports specialties and then let me get you to the tag so you can see the tag right here see the s see that little curve uh, that's this right here so it's a sports but it is sports specialties authentic and it was worth every penny of the 650 dollars uh uh so a, a super super cool hat and um I'm gonna go back here to show you other sports specialties Los Angeles dollars hats because it's not just the script that you saw. If you're looking for just straight up LA, this one is brand new, sold for 150 bucks, another one 150. Um, even pre-owned, 41 right here. Here's a, um, I'm gonna, we'll, we're, let's look at this one real quick. This one sold for 400 bucks and I wanna see the uh, interior real quick. So in decent enough condition, does this one not have a picture of the tag either? This one does not say sports specialties. That's interesting. Let me look at the back of that. Anyway, 400 bucks. That's the brand you wanna look for, for sure. The script, pay attention to that for sure, but get into the habit of looking up all the hats. Um, I have a bunch that I still have to get listed that are vintage. Um, I might have a ton of money sitting down there in the, in the basement, just waiting, waiting to be claimed, waiting to be listed and collected. Um, and we'll move on to the next one, which is a Sanyo boombox. Some people will use the keyword ghetto blaster in their listings. Um, I encourage you to use that if you think it will help you, but on an item this rare, it probably is not 100% necessary. So Sanyo model M9994 boombox with a cassette player selling for 600 bucks. Um, that wasn't even the most expensive one. Here's one that sold at the end of September for 650, although it was free shipping. So these are very, very comparable in sales. This one here, uh, one bid for 225. Here's one for 308. As far as um, how many are currently listed, it doesn't look like there's that many. So here's a new, oh look, uh, looks like this, hold on, let's compare. Is this the same one? It is the same one. So they've relisted it. You may have had a non-paying bidder. That said, this is still gonna sell for 600 bucks. So um, here's one. Here's another one below that. This one, this is not uh, 9994. So if you get 9994 um, and it works, pressure's at 700, make your buyer pay for shipping and then try to take a best offer of 650 if you don't get someone to buy it now for sure. So keep that in mind, but uh, excellent, excellent bolo nonetheless. Very hard to find. Use Ghetto Blaster if you wanna use it. We'll move on to the last one for the day. So this is from the 1930s, a vintage Coleman kerosene lamp. Uh, this is model 234. This was bid up to $510, 17 bids. I uh, was looking at a Coleman lamp today. I always look them up just as a, a function of, of the business that I, I run and how I run it, no matter what it is, what it looks like, I always look it up because there's some huge, huge money in Coleman lamps. Not all of them, um, but a lot of them, yes. So. Model 234, let me maximize this picture and then we will go to the next one because I want to show you a keyword that some buyers are using that I thought uh, was unique and, and smart. So you look at the next page here, they're using seafoam as a color. So seafoam green, here it is again. Um, there's another Model 234, but look at this 234 and then look at this 234. That one got $510, this one got 737, but look at how gorgeous the color is and look at how well done the pictures are. Very, very clear, easy to see. The glass looks like it is in impeccable condition and um, good wear on the, on the base right there, but those pictures are selling that item for sure, not just because it is super rare. You take terrible pictures, knock 100, knock 150, knock 200 bucks off of it, but this person did, did really well. So Coleman uh, 234, definitely a bolo. And look, ladies and gentlemen, 
We do this for motivation, so get out to that store that you weren't going to go to today or do some research in the eBay sold category, uh, advanced, hit the advanced tab, go digging in there. That's what I do. That's where I spend the most of my time. Brendan here, Dad Planet. If you are not subscribed and you want to see more of the items like this, more videos like this, make sure you hit the bell notification icon. Send me a like if you liked what you saw. Leave me a comment. Let me know if any of these things you have sourced and or sold before. That is it. That is all I have for you deadplanetofficial at gmail.com. If you've got one similar, shoot me an email. Let me know how things are going. I'm out. We'll see you in the next video.